In my last video, I discussed at great length, unfortunately for you guys, about caffeine and energy drinks and the effects of caffeine and how to get off of a caffeine addiction and how to sleep right. Fold it all into one super related topic. And even talked about caffeine and energy drinks for your kids, which is not something you should do. Today I'm going to carry on with sports drinks or um, electrolyte drinks. Drinks that have got things added to them to replenish what are called electrolytes. Electrolytes, if you are paying attention, electro is related to electricity, which means those things can increase the conductivity of electricity in your body. You, what, huh? Electricity in my body? My body doesn't, I, I, I don't have electricity. Yes, you do. You have a magnetic field that your body produces. You also have an electricity of a kind in your body. <clears throat> and in your heart, if you get too much of the conductivity increasing electrolytes like sodium and um, potassium, that can consequently cause you to experience palpitations or arrhythmia, um, angina. It can also cause ar um, arrhythmia. Oh, I said that already. Um, sorry, angina is chest pain or even just twinges where you feel something that shouldn't be there, but it doesn't exactly necessarily hurt. And there is a potential along with pre-existing conditions that too much can induce, say, a heart attack or other unfortunate experiences that you don't want to have to go through. However, electrolytes are important. If you don't have enough electrolytes in your body, your muscles won't work correctly, your heart won't work correctly, you won't be able to sweat. So you will go from... Um, heat exhaustion to heat stroke and heat stroke can kill you so when you get to the point where you're no longer sweating and it's hot you're in danger and if you feel muscle cramps happening if you feel like you're slowing down if you feel like your brain's slowing down if you feel like your heart is racing if your, your skin has gone from bright red to very pallid it's really not a good idea so Let's understand that electrolyte drinks have a specific purpose and only that purpose. It is not a beverage to enjoy. Yes, I know these electrolyte beverage companies or sports beverage companies make them taste good because they want more sales. But they are ignoring the fact that not only can it hurt your heart, but it can also hurt your kidneys. You can cause through regular consumption or excess consumption of electrolyte drinks, damage your kidneys permanently. So, when should you be using electrolyte drinks or electrolytic drinks, sports drinks, like Gatorade, Powerade, Body Armor, uh, Pedialyte, uh, Oralite, and all those other ones that have in powdered form, in liquid form, whatever the form is, it doesn't matter. You should be using them if you have been working out, alternating with water. So you want it. It's got water in it, but because you've got all those electrolytes in there, you need the extra water to flush out the excess electrolytes when you pee so that your kidneys don't get hurt. And also to carry out those electrolytes faster. If you're sweating a lot, you need to alternate between water and some of the electrolyte drink. If you're not physically active, but just sweating, you still need to replace those electrolytes because when you sweat, those electrolytes, the sodium and potassium and stuff, they go out with your sweat. That's why sweat tastes salty because both salt, uh, but both potassium salt and chloride salt or table salt and n no salt salt are salty tasting. So, I, I, I'm trying to make this as simple as fast and as, as is possible. If your children, by habit, are drinking not just 
sodas and uh, flavored beverages that are made from powder or made from or juices, um, or, but also drinking electrolyte drinks. These are all bad for you. There is no reason to consistently consume these beverages. They hurt your health. And if you are a constant drinker of tea or coffee or cola, you can get kidney stones. If you are a constant drinker of caffeinated beverages, you can get addicted and have lots of side effects, and then the withdrawal sucks. And if you're constantly drinking electrolytes and not balancing it with water in sufficient quantities, you can cause heart damage, you can cause kidney damage, and it's not a good thing. You don't want your 15-year-old child or whatever to have to permanently go through dialysis until they die, right? You don't want your child to have to be very careful, I mean, beyond the norm. And when I say norm, I mean what's actually helpful. To protect themselves from having a seizure or a heart attack or something like that because they consumed something they, that they had overconsumed earlier in life and it caused a very bad reaction right? And you shouldn't want that for yourself either. So please remember, energy drinks, sorry, and electrolyte drinks are not to be consumed all the time. They are not, they are not casual beverages. It's kind of like you can put them into a similar category as alcohol and other intoxicating beverages. You should drink them responsibly and only when it's appropriate because the consequences can be severe. So please tell your children, I am bringing home this body armor for you so that during and after your workout at, in your gym class at school, you can drink this to replenish the electrolytes that you are sweating out of your body along with the water. But please, aside from times like that where you're sweating a lot, with or without exercise, please do not drink these. And when you drink these, alternate them with water. Tell your kids this. They need to know because if you don't tell them, they may never find out. And then they may destroy their body. Now, I'm being a little bit um, hyperbolic here, but it really is a significant risk. You really need to take these things seriously because the companies that are selling these products are not going to be responsible. The vast majority of them will put in very small print sideways on the can so it's not even something that you're necessarily going to look at because it's next to the nutrition facts t box but on, along the side so you have to turn, tilt your head or tilt the, oh, I spilled it, whoops, to read it. And most people are not going to read that because it's small print. I mean, I have a hard time reading it. Sometimes I have to get my magnifying glass. And it says, this is not for children, not for pregnant women, not for nursing women, and not for people who have heart problems. If it says anything like that, or if it says 18 plus only, that's a clear sign you shouldn't be giving it to your kids. And again, electrolyte drinks are not in the same kind of danger zone as caffeinated and energy drinks, but they're still dangerous when used incorrectly or used casually. They are not a caverage, uh, <laughs> casual beverage. I can't. They're not a caverage, casual beverage, caverage. Get it? I just invented a new word. How clever of me. <sighs> yeah. So please. If you love your kids, make sure they understand that these are not something they and not something you. And be responsible and demonstrate to them, hey, you know, I've got this. I'm I'm not sweating right now. Yes, it tastes good, but that's not its purpose. Its purpose is to replenish electrolytes because you're sweating, because you're working out. And that's basically all I had to say on this topic. Thankfully, this was much shorter than the previous video. <laughs> but the previous video was all tied together by caffeine. So I'm sorry that, that one took so long and this one took so little time. It's great. Thank you for mu very much, very, 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 very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.